Sunday the 27th of December. Thanks again for watching. Uh, we've got heavy rainfall to come over the next few days. We've got some strong winds as well. More about that in just a moment. Um, first of all, quick look at the 7 to 10 day mean of the 500 millibar flow. Um, we've got three charts on this one today. We've got ECMWF here, we've got the GFS here, and we've got the Canadian model here. Um, now, this is the mean of the 500 millibar flow, the anomalies from um, next Sunday through to Wednesday, the 6th of January. What's interesting to note here is look how far south the jet is being pushed on the ECMWF, on the GFS and on the Canadian as well. We've got a shift in pattern. And if you look at the uh, northern side of the jet on every chart, you'll notice here that uh, this is the cold side of the jet in here. And we get an ever colder air just being pumped southwards into this system. It strengthens the jet, it continues to push it southwards. And all the signals are there of this cooler weather coming through. Now I'm anxious throughout all of these videos over the last few days to stress that we're not seeing a massive hit of winter, but certainly this is a change of pattern. Yes, the westerlies are still in evident, uh, but there is good agreement between the models that we slip into slightly cooler conditions. Could still be very windy at times, but certainly that downward trending temperature is there. Now, uh, wind and rain are the concern over the next few days. These charts from weatheronline.co.uk. This is the surface pressure for today. I'm going to run through the sequence here and just notice how the winds pick up through Monday. Nothing particularly extreme. More rain arriving in the west overnight Monday into Tuesday. Again, nothing particularly heavy there. I don't think too many concerns with adding to flooding problems but then that system out towards the west of Ireland watch what happens Tuesday evening severe gales coming through Ireland and then overnight into Wednesday severe gales coming through the Irish Sea battering western parts of the UK heavy rain coming in as well during the early hours of Wednesday morning gets into western Wales then into northwest England through Wednesday morning and then Wednesday afternoon that happens the winds die away but we get this heavy rain developing on that front and that is the feature that looks as if it uh, could cause some problems again. Um, and then through the overnight period into New Year's Eve, cooler air is able to get in the flow. The source air is up here towards the west of Greenland. We saw that getting in briefly on Christmas Day. So the cooler air getting in once again. And the prediction is that that cooler air does get pushed away. Um, so it's only a brief taste of cold air. But then that happens heading into next weekend. Tries to bring a trough into the south of the country and get the winds round more into the east. Is this a signal? Well, it, it could be. There's, uh, it's been on the cards, hasn't it? If you've been watching over the last week or so, you'll know that the signals were there of a change taking place, and it looks like that's what's ahead. So uh, the upper air 500 millibar looking like this. This is Tuesday morning. Here's Tuesday afternoon as that jet strengthens confluent trough running through the country through Wednesday night into the early hours of New Year's Eve. The jet then breaks through as we've just seen and then watch what happens into the weekend. Here is this little cutoff from the trough and um, you'll notice that sits south of the UK and enables us to get that easterly flow building through the country for a time. Then brings us back more into a westerly. So it's a brief hit of potentially colder weather um, um, and certainly the signals to be reading from the models are that we have that downward temperature trend. And this was a tweet that went out earlier. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, by the way, at weatherweb.net. This is the 850 temperature for London. And you notice how over the next 10 days, the temperature's dipping away. And in fact, that's the minus five running through there. So by the end of next weekend into the early part of the first working week of the new year, uh, ECMWF really does go for something um, significantly colder. So I think we need to be uh, watching for that. Winter may take a bite out of us early in, but it's certainly something uh, that we need to be keeping our eye on. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that for now, but uh, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.